After a last minute deal to avoid the nation's first ever federal trial over the opioid crisis, there is a new push from Tennessee's top cop to agree to a much bigger deal to get money to fight opioid addiction as quickly as possible. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has a look at the debate that could be worth $48 billion. Tennessee Attorney General Herbert Slatery is one of four state attorneys general who are pushing other states to agree to a global settlement with opioid manufacturers and distributors. $48 billion that they argue could be used to help communities fight the opioid crisis now. Our goal is for the funds and the treatment drugs to be made available as soon as possible. Therefore, we're, we're going to burn the midnight oil trying to create uh, this settlement document uh, and put it into practice. Slatery told reporters today that the drug companies accused of furthering the crisis would be required to hire compliance officers who would watch for suspiciously large opioid purchases. So that if purchases exceed that threshold, then that's a red flag. They need to look into that. The argument from the attorneys general is that the settlement would avoid a trial that could delay getting money to the communities most affected by the opioid crisis. But the deal is meeting resistance in cities and states across the country, including within Tennessee, where some say the settlement wouldn't be enough to really help. Bryant Dunaway, the district attorney general out of Cookville, said today, when broken down to the city-county level on an annual basis, this amount does nothing to alleviate the very serious issues these companies have created in Tennessee. It is, at best, a budget for more body bags. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.